Hello and welcome to the Twee Couch Guitar YouTube channel. Today we're going to go back and revisit this Gibson R9 that I received about eight months ago. It's a great guitar, absolutely love it. Actually my third video I ever did was a unboxing and a demo of this guitar. I had owned it for literally seconds when I decided to do that video. And you know what? It's time we do a proper demo of this beautiful beast. Here we go. Now there are a number of pros and cons about this guitar. And really a major pro, well obviously the neck. The neck feels amazing. I love the way it is in my hand. I love the rolled edges. I, I love the quality of the woods that are on it. Like they just, it feels really good. I love the how light the guitar is. I really love these pickups. They may be unpotted and there may be some squeals and things like that with some high volume, but it's part of the charm. It's part of the dynamics. The pots, the way that they roll, so many things about this guitar feel good, look good, and are good. It's high quality for sure. But there are some cons as well. One con that started to show up is I've had this guitar for eight months. I've owned it since new. And one of the things that has started to show up is the binding bleed. And I understand this is actually a common thing that does happen on the actual 59s. I mean, that's one of the things that has been seen. Understandable. It happens, but it happened really quickly. Within a few weeks, I started to get binding bleed. Now there is one special thing that does end up happening with this guitar uh, because the pickups themselves are unpotted. So because the pickups are unpotted, you can actually hear tapping on the pickup sometimes when you're playing. So I'll put it on the neck end. You can hear, this is just a plastic plectrum pick and put it on the bridge and you can hear the pick noise on the actual tapping of of the uh, pickup itself. And so back in the 50s, they didn't pot the pickups, which would keep that microphonicness from happening, that different characteristic. But there are certain tones you can get with this type of unpotted pickup that you just can't get from a potted pickup. And I like unpotted pickups unless I'm dealing with a lot of volume and then they squeal quite a bit. So I have a few pickups that are unpotted and I really like the character of those pickups. Did you hear the little tappy tap while I was playing? Yeah, unpotted pickups.
Let's use a tube screamer. Something that I hear people say all the time is maybe you should top wrap the strings. And when they say top wrap, they mean putting it over the top right here and just having the strings go down around and then up over. I've never done that before. If you have done that and you know a difference, leave me a comment down below. If you have not done it, but you have like a good video to link it to, leave me a comment below. I'd love to have some more research on whether or not I should go ahead and top wrap this this bridge. Let's put it in the middle. Let's make it a little funky. Well, thanks for joining us on the Tweed Couch Guitar YouTube channel. If you like what you heard, make sure you hit like and subscribe. Also, be sure to ring that bell. If you want to check us out on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, be sure to do that. You can also listen to us on the podcast where we talk about new gear day purchases. You can also check out that video that I did, the R9 unboxing and the demo. It was my third video. Be kind. I also had like straggly long hair and all that kind of stuff. Also down below, there are some affiliate links. If you want to check those things out, you can. All right. With all that said, remember, you are your greatest asset. Until next time.